Welcome to my office. Um, this has been inhabited by numerous men who smoke cigars. And then one last question particularly for that. Obviously so powerful, but you're also trailblazers and are all firsts in something. Um, and so I talked to Senator Mikulski this morning, who um, was so excited. Tell me about what it was like um, in, the, in the Congress, but also in, in the Appropriations Committee so many years ago. I found it surprising there were so few women. I just didn't think about that. But I remember at that time, there weren't a lot of women. I, I remember um, conference committees, because we actually did a lot of them in the early 90s, where the most senior members were in the middle of the table and the most junior members were way out here. And the men would talk to each other right here. And I remember finally just standing up at the end of the table going, excuse me, because you couldn't get their attention. Everything was decided in the middle of this table. I think it's pretty amazing. We are at the middle of the table now. You are really looking at five women who have control of the most powerful level, le levers of government. Now, that's, but, but, but how? And for me, in many instances, transcends uh, ge gender, the skills, experience, effectiveness of knowing how to get a, a, a policy over the, 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 the finish line. That's what's dominant here. We didn't get here because we are women. Okay. How do you think you're different than your predecessors um, in terms of your relationships? Because I think you want me to succeed. I certainly want you to succeed. And I do think that is a value of, that women bring to the table. Um, and there is not competition here. There's a genuine want uh, to deliver. Again, not compromising values. People don't have to do that. Uh, disagree vehemently <laughs> uh, when it's necessary, but this collaborative relationship that's continuous. You can't just call people uh, at the last minute when you need them. You have to keep an keep a open dialogue. And how it's changed? Just facts. When I got here in 2001, a man held every one of these positions. Lovely guys, uh, lovely <laughs> men, um, but they were all men. This country is, does not look like that. It's not right. Um, most Americans don't know what their appropriations committee is, but if they heard uh, that um, you know, women didn't have a seat at the table and how investments were distributed, like that, that would be a problem. What are the stakes in funding the government? What are the stakes if there's a default? What, what would you tell average Americans? Oh. When we don't pass bills on time, it means that new programs can't start, that old programs that perhaps should be terminated continue to be funded, and it increases the cost to taxpayers. So in many ways, it represents a failure to govern effectively. Great. Thank you so much. I could talk to you all day. <laughs>